Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're continuing on with Hollapalooza and I've got my Beautylish gift card event haul. I actually placed two orders with them during the event, which I think went on for about four or five days. And I ended up with four $20 gift cards. So you got $20 for every $100 that you spent. So it was kind of like you got 20% back from them. Of course it was like I had to play like cart math to figure out like what combo of things would get me closest to like the hundred dollar interval because you only got another twenty dollars at the next hundred dollar interval. Anyway, so if you spent like hundred and ninety eight dollars you would still only get a twenty dollar gift card. We've all played cart math. This will be a quick one so if you're interested in seeing what I purchased at Beautylish during their gift card event then just keep on watching. Alright, so um, just to give you a little backstory about my hair and we're not talking about the color of it. Some people have commented that I should color it. Um, I just am too lazy, basically. And I don't mind that it's gray. That's actually not something that bothers me. I feel like with aging, I have so many other things to worry about that like gray hair, I just can't even be bothered. So anyway, my hair actually, since I moved to Vegas, the water here is so different from the tap water in New York City. And my hair in New York just was always really full and you know, it just always kind of had, basically it was like built in frizz. And for my pretty straight hair, it was kind of nice. It kind of just gave it the body that I needed. And it, you know, it looked a little frizzy sometimes, but it was okay, it's, it didn't bother me too much. Here, I mean, I really thought like something was going on with my hair. Was I losing my hair? My hair was so flat. And someone told me they were like, oh, it's, it's the water here. They just see like the biggest difference in their hair. And I was like, oh my God, that's gotta be it. Because whenever I do go back to New York, by the time I leave, I feel like my hair looks better. So anyway, that's what I'm dealing with. And I've tried a lot of different shampoos um, from Orbe and the, kind that comes in the green bottle. I think it's for moisture and control. That one worked pretty well. Um, the Gold Lust and the Signature uh, didn't do anything. I mean, my hair smelled nice and it was clean and it looked great, but it was just, it was too flat. It didn't do anything actually for like the, the body of my hair. Um, so I decided to try the shampoo for Magnificent Volume. We'll give it a shot. I got the shampoo and the conditioner, which is here the shampoo and the conditioner. So, so we'll give those a go, see if these work out. So this is the one that comes in like the brownish red um, bottle. The conditioner comes in like more of a squeezy tube, which looks like this. I'm gonna give those a shot, see what happens. I also decided to purchase the Maximista thickening spray. Um, and that's what comes in this bottle. And this is what the spray looks like and I've actually used this a couple days now and it's nice um, I thought at first when I sprayed it in my hair I thought oh is this just hairspray because it's a little bit sticky um, it has a, like a little bit of tack to it uh, like hairspray but it's actually more like like texturizing spray for like when your hair is damp when it's when it's just clean like texturizing spray I always use kind of like that second day if I need to like kind of like lift my hair up again, you know, clean it a little bit. It's not like a dry shampoo, but it, it kind of helps in that way. I feel like this is like a pre-texturizing spray. So this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep using it and I will definitely get back to you on this, but so far, so good. I also purchased the Balm d'Or, uh, which is the heat styling shield. And I have also used this a couple of times basically like a cream that you just sort of uh, spread into your hair and yeah and it's a heat protectant I was using the GM Reverie milk for my hair which is like a nice lotion um, I used to get that off of Sephora um, and I like that very much and then I actually had to get the caviar the Alterna caviar like CC cream that they have for their hair that CC cream made my hair so flat um, it's like if you want really flat straight hair that's the CC cream to use but it was just it was too flat for me this has been nice I've been using this and this maybe the past uh, couple of days several days and yeah it's been it's been really nice I also purchased um, the rock hard gel and that's actually what I have in my hair today I do like to slick my hair back a lot and um, forget what I was using but again it wasn't good enough I guess because the climate is so dry my hair just permanently looks like like a pollen puff like I just have like these flyaway hairs everywhere no matter what I put into it I'll use like a little pomade or whatever um, and nothing helps 
unless I put so much stuff into my hair that it looks like I haven't washed my hair in weeks. So anyway, I thought I would try this for when I want to slick back my hair um, because it's called Rock Hard Gel and it really is. And in fact, when I like move my scalp, I can kind of feel it, which is pretty funny. Um, the interesting thing about this gel is the gels that I've used, and I'm sure you guys have used as well, it's like a clear kind of goopy thing. Uh, this comes out, it's like white, I'm not going to open it because it gets messy. It's white and it's kind of stringy. It's almost like Elmer's glue. <laughs> so that was a little like, oh, oh God, I, oh, I have to put this in my hair. So um, got past that. It obviously dries clear and it works. it works. So that's all the Orbe stuff that I got. And that was in my first order. My second order um, I actually placed because I wanted to get the cleansing spa water from Kogendo. Um, at Sephora during the VIB sale, but they were sold out. I was like, what? <laughs> so uh, anyway, I was like, oh, you know, I think Beautylish carries this. And alas, they did. And they even carry, this is the big bottle. They have like a small travel size bottle and then the medium size bottle at Sephora. They also have the wipes at Sephora. Beautylish, they have this huge bottle, which is the biggest size of the cleansing water. So it comes with its own pump which is awesome. So this one is the 16.23 fluid ounces is 480 milliliters. And yeah, I am stoked that I have this gigantic bottle of it. Um, Cause I go through the medium sized bottle pretty quickly. Um, so I'm happy to have, happy to have this. And I also purchased the new eye and cheek palette from Tom Ford. This is the Violet Argente, I believe is called. This, I, you know, I opened it up, I took a, I snapped a picture of it for Instagram, I put it back in the box and I haven't looked at it since. I did watch um, Mona, the glam Dr. Mona con. Um, she did a review on this and she said that this purple shade leaves a bit to be desired. And this is like the shade, you know, this is the shade that you pretty much buy this palette for. So anyway, let's go ahead and swatch it. Let me do the blush and the highlighter first. So there's the blush and the highlighter. And now let me swatch the eyeshadows. So the purple one does feel a little dry. The other three don't feel so dry. Let's see how they swatch. So there are the four shadows. Yeah, the purple is a little bit faint. Um, and I find finger swatches generally to be slightly deceptive anyway. So we'll see how they go on the eye. I'll definitely do um, like a review video on this whole palette. I'll compare it to, I have the warm and the solar exposure. I don't have the cool, which actually I think this is closer to, but we'll compare it to those two anyway and just see if any of it is similar at all. And yeah, and see how it performs. I really like the, um, the blush and the highlighter though. Those are pretty, those are really pretty. So that's it. That is my Beautylish gift card event haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Hallapalooza. Uh, definitely subscribe below and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of more haul videos because I've got at least two more coming up. I think in my first video I said that I was going to have three in total. I think I'm going to have four in total, maybe even five because I actually just got another package. So <laughs> let's just keep going. But yeah, after all of these haul videos are done, hopefully by the end of this week, uh, next week I can jump into some reviews of some of these uh, things that I purchased, like this Tom Ford palette. So anyway, it was nice talking to you, and I will see you in my next video.